exciting news for you. Look at what you're watching. It's EETV and surprise, it's live from here in East Elgin. That's right, go Eagles. Let's see what's up at our school. But only for a couple minutes, and then you gotta get back to well. Good morning, Eagles. Welcome to a new week. Today is January 15th. I'm Lucas. I'm Hayden. Here. Wait. Lucas? Uh huh. Why, why are you here? I like trees. Good to know. Here are your morning announcements. You, oh, you got that? You got it. Yes, I got it. Do you have questions about courses, wondering what level to take, or wondering what a class is all about? Stop by department classrooms Wednesday, January 17th during lunch to learn more. Teachers will be in the rooms to answer any questions. Guidance is all open for drop-in questions on courses. Take advantage of this opportunity to help with selecting the courses that are right for you. Course selections are to be submitted no later than January 25th. The Performing Arts Department has been hard at work preparing for the Dance and Drama Showcase this coming Wednesday in the Cafetorium, beginning at 7.30 p.m. Come check out an evening of entertainment in the form of two plays and many dance routines. Admittance is free, but donations are always appreciated. If you are already here for grade 8 night, consider staying to see what the dancers and performers have been up to. St. Paul's United Church is looking for volunteers to teach and operate their tech equipment on Sunday mornings. Email media at stpaulsunitedchurch.ca for more info. Graduation photo location has been changed to the drama room in room 250. The office does not call you for your appointment time. Therefore, please make sure that you are on time for your appointment. Now, over to lovely Lita for today's cap special. <clears throat> Good morning, Eagles. I am Lita Young Not, and today's cap special is Grilled Cheese Sound is now back in the death. Thank you, Lena. And that is all of your announcements for today, Eagles. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow.